This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. And here's when it crossed my mind uh, another time. After, in 2015, this is before, this is at the end of 2015, before, uh, about a year before you and I met, I my contract was up with, uh, with WSB, and I'd had a pretty good run. I'd had, my God, I'd had 11 years. And they decided not to renew my contract. Uh, I only, so the only money I had coming in at the time was, well, first of all, who's the kid in the sweater here? That's Mortimer Plumtree. Mortimer. Okay, good for Mortimer. Uh, so I, uh, I, I still had the money coming in from the Georgia Bulldogs and from the Atlanta Braves, but I didn't have, uh, the money coming in from WSB, nor did I have any health insurance and I was in my, you know, mid to late fifties. And I was, uh, so I thought, you know what? I'm, I, I'm going to see if there's any neat one for me, uh, in, in WWE. And I was looking for only a, I didn't, I was looking for, I think I've told some of the story. I was looking only for a production job. I didn't really want to go back into doing announcing again because again, and this is before you came around. Again, I thought that my work was so shitty at the end that fans had turned on me and didn't want to hear me and had no, they didn't want, they, they had run their course of Tony Schiavone. So I thought in my mind, you know what? I don't even want to announce wrestling anymore, but maybe I can make a few ends meet and get back and do production. And I talked about this with Lois and her response was, Fuck that. We're not moving to Connecticut. But I still reached out. And I reached out to Triple H because I had his number. Just sent him a text. And I reached out to Vince McMahon. I called his office and talked to Carolyn, I believe his secretary. And then as I'm on a, a basketball trip, I, uh, I got a call from Mark Carano. And Mark Carano said, uh, first of all, Vince and Paul want to know how you're doing. I said, I'm doing okay. And there may be something for you. Uh, we will get back with you. And of course, they never did, which is typical of them with me. Finally, I get a call from Kevin Dunn. And Kevin Dunn says, hey, uh, I just wanted to call and let you know that we appreciate your interest, but we don't, we have plenty of announcers. I say, Kevin, dude, I, I, I said every, every way I don't want to be an announcer. And I said, I told Vince's secretary, I told triple H, I just want to do some production work. I wanted to do, I enjoy producing. And he said, Oh, that's different. He said with the network, we do need producers. We'll be back in touch with you. And of course, just like Kevin Dunn always would do, he didn't get back in touch with me. So then I said, fuck it. That's it. No more. Not even look for it anymore. And I think we got to track it here, don't we? Uh, and so then that's where you came into my life and the rest is history. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.